This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to export captions from YouTube, then what you need to do to convert them for import into Adobe Premiere Pro. Mike asks, I do a lot of captioning on YouTube. Can I export those YouTube captions and import them into Premiere to adjust the timing? And the answer is yes and no. Yes, you can export the YouTube captions, but they don't export in a format that Premiere can directly read. You need to do some tweaks to adjust the file format from what YouTube exports into what Premiere needs. Let me show you how this process works. First, we're going to go to a browser, and I'm going to go to my YouTube account. When you get to, logged into your YouTube account, go to the content column and find the video that you want to output captions for. Here, I've got one on Apple Compressor. Click the pencil tool so you edit it. So there's a webinar from a couple weeks ago. As you scroll down, notice on the right-hand side, there's a choice called subtitles. Click it. And we now see the subtitles that YouTube created for this video. If you click this three-dot icon and we download the subtitles, it downloads a text file, but not a caption file. This would be useful if you wanted to say, give me a transcription of what they're talking about in this video. Instead, click the Edit Timings window. This now shows the caption and the, where the caption starts and where the caption ends. This would also allow you to edit it to fix things like, for instance, a spelling error, because my webinars are called Power Up, and put, say, a capital T at the beginning of the sentence. When you've made those changes, you click here, and now when you say Download Subtitles, it downloads an, uh, a subtitle file to the Downloads folder on your computer. So let's just save that as long as we're here, quit out of the web browser, and now the Downloads folder appears on my second monitor, so you won't be able to see this for a second. I'm going to open up the Downloads folder and drag the file that we just exported, Captions SBV. And notice it's an SBV file. Why is that important? <laughs> it's not an SRT file is the answer. Let's just open this with text edit. And there's the file. Notice that it's got the capital T and the power up that we just changed. So this is clearly the file that we just exported. But let's look at the um, Premier export, the SRT. There's a difference here. Notice that in the SRT file, each caption is uniquely numbered. Those numbers are missing over here in the SPV. Notice that each timecode reference starts with two zeros. This starts with one for the hour. Notice the SBV has a comma. This is a space, two dashes, a greater than, and a space. The formats are similar. The line breaks are similar. The titles are very close. But until you make changes to the SBV file, so it exactly mirrors that which an SRT file in terms of numbering each caption and timecode display and that special kind of arrow, Premiere won't import it. There may be utilities that do this conversion, but even if there aren't, you can do it manually. It's just going to take you a while to go through and get everything numbered the way you're supposed to. So can you export YouTube subtitles? Absolutely, yes. Can they be imported into Premiere? Yes, provided they're in SRT format. And are the utilities to convert between SBV and SRT? Probably, but I don't know which ones they are. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 321. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours. 
on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.